Hi there, welcome. Welcome to Home Keepers, my friend. It's so good to be here today. Won't you grab yourself a cup of tea and join us? It's going to be a wonderful program, and I just want to let you know how much we appreciate you and uh, the contact we have with many of you. Uh, sometimes you take time to send us an email of encouragement, and trust me, that's exactly what it is. I know I got a couple this morning when I first got into the office just a little bit after seven and it's so wonderful to open up that email and have a couple of little notes of encouragement. Thank you so much and we hope what we do will encourage you as well as we approach so many different subjects on this program and uh, so we are those workers together. That's a good thing. Got a wonderful friend for a guest today, Linda Brown. She was our floor director here for many years but you know I always knew there was something just not quite settled. And I felt she had a heart for missions, but where is a girl going to go? Uh, she really couldn't go to Bible college. That wasn't open. She didn't have the backing of some denomination and all. But God can make a way where there seems to be no way. And we are going to talk with Linda about that. She's been on the mission field, I think, for more than three years now after leaving the Christian Television Network. The girl has established a school. We're going to show you a miracle raised up by God in Kenya. And when I heard about this, I thought, Linda is raising up world changers. They're going to change Africa. They're going to change the world because you get the word of God and education into a little heart, little kid. It's going to make a difference in a whole nation. So I'm anxious for you to hear Linda's story. And also uh, we have some video of these precious kids that I think she told me we'll get it clear when she sits down with me. I think they know three languages now. And of course, a lot of the word of God. And I'm going to join Stephanie. We're going to make chicken and bows. This is a kind of a nice pasta recipe that uh, is great, great for your main meal at night and not real expensive and something that you can um, fix up rather quickly. Before I join her, I did one more day, I want to offer you winning the money game. It is so good every once in a while to look at your whole financial picture and see where you are and see where you can go, see what needs to be changed. And this is written by a wonderful financial planner. And it, will, it tells you how to separate the myths from the truth of money. It deals with everything, with stocks, with IRAs, with real estate, anything you could possibly need to know about money, you'll find it in this book. So it's available to you for $15. That's a bargain today, actually. And you can use your credit card or debit card by calling 1-800-229-0059. Or the address is there. We love hearing from you. Thank you for your notes and so forth. Homekeepers, Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. Hope you'll take advantage of that. And how are you Hello, today? I'm great. I have two things to say. Two. Number one, Lin Linda Brown has been doing this for eight years. You said three. Can you believe it's no, been No, I'm eight? in the school. Oh, okay. The school? Three. Okay, she was making sure she's been doing this I can't total believe she's. Years. I can't I believe she's been gone eight years. And she is the Reverend Linda Brown. I know Brown it. Now. I know it. So that, I'm that's so why, proud of her. Okay, that's why I laid the groundwork that, you know, she had no denomination. Yes. She didn't have yes. a way to go to Bible school. I'm so proud of it's her. Like a, it's like a miracle. Because, you know, when God called the Apostle Paul, they think he went right into the ministry. No, he didn't. Uh, God totally prepared him after the salvation. And this girl has been prepared yes. from childhood. Yes. And, and got, you were right. When she was here, she loved it here. Uh -huh. Don't get, you know, don't. But there was something. There was an unfulfilled. Did you see it too? Oh, for sure. There, yeah. was, there was so much more for yeah. her to do. So, yeah. Yep. So, uh, if you haven't met Linda, you're going to love her. But You are going to love her. We love her. We're just real proud of her. Uh, what an extension from this ministry as well. Yes. Okay, you've, you've okay, cooked so up I a have little chicken. Uh, chicken with butter. Right, with just, butter. there's the chicken, there's the butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's show and tell. <laughs> and that's uh, chopped red. up red pepper. Ugh. Okay, I make this at home all the time. Do you really? This is my go-to. I don't feel like cooking, but I need to cook mm -hmm. dinner, except I don't put 
as you know, any peppers in it. No, she doesn't like peppers. They gross she me can out. tolerate the red ones, mm. but don't bring a green one around her. She gets no. violent. Okay. I get violent, yes. <laughs> do you know what I was thinking about this? Do you use these? I do. Okay. Yes. When I was thinking about that, that has to make it rich. Yes, for sure. And this is soup you buy in the can yeah, at, so, at the grocery store. Um, the recipe calls for two cans of cream of chicken. We have one can of cream of chicken and one can of cream of mushroom. But believe it or not, that's how I do it at home. Is it? So, you know what? Poetic license is what mm -hmm. Susan said this is. So, so why doesn't that go in the... Um, I'm just getting it all mixed together oh, real okay. quick so that... Okay. Um, We've already cooked the bow ties. Yep. And the, Looks like they got a little olive oil on them or something. Yes, so that they because won't all Susan mush up is together. so wonderful to help us ahead mm -hmm. of time. Uh-huh. And then we have milk. Mm-hmm. And we have salt and pepper and garlic. We're going to mix this well, all Well, when I was up. thinking about this recipe, I thought that has to make it rich. Yeah. Oh, Like yes. it has a good gravy or something. Yes. It's so good. Let's so mix good. this up. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And then we have, um, it was just a frozen bag of peas. Mm -hmm. And we have Parmesan. You know, I, I would probably put some asparagus in this. Oh, that would be good. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't think I ever tried asparagus till I was on the show. Mm -hmm. And then I found out that I like it. Do you really? Mm -hmm. I don't make it at home because I would be the only one, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, oh, I put it in a lot of things. I'll put it in an omelet. Mm -hmm. uh, so there you go. Put that in there. Let's go ahead and throw the peas in too while we're at mm -hmm. it. <clears throat> so super simple. And especially if you get a rotisserie chicken and you just cut it all up and you use it for meals during the week. Yeah. That makes it even that much easier. But this had uh, really very little chicken in I think one breast and... Uh, well, that's what we put in it. It yeah. calls for two pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that two pounds would seem like a lot, but... Well, not if you're feeding you can be, family. You can do what you want with this. Yeah. Okay, so I either need a bigger bowl or I a bigger think you pot. Need, <laughs> okay. Oh, where's the bigger one? Oh, oh you well, here, it. we'll use that one, because that's just what I mixed okay. up. So go ahead and put the pasta in there. <laughs> don't I'm going on vacation, the people. Part. I don't even care anymore, okay? That's the problem. She's getting ready in a few days to put on her pajamas and leave them on for two, two weeks. Two weeks, and I am not even kidding. Well, what do you do in your pajamas all day? I clean. I plan on painting my living room. Now, I change pajamas, and oh, I shower. Good. You wash them once in a while. But... I'm still in my jeans. Good to know. Okay. Okay. Got to so heat that up. Y this really needs to cook a lot longer, but because I really want you to get over to Linda you? Brown because she has an amazing testimony mm -hmm. and story. We're going to do speed cooking here. Linda's story is like, don't give up on your dreams. She's one of my heroes. Yeah. Okay. So put some that's of that. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? Maybe, yeah, that, maybe put, that's why they put the the red pepper in put it. Put some of that Parmesan cheese on. Ooh. Guess what? I'm taking some of this home. I'm not cooking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Okay, well, I put a little on top. There's got to be some kind of bonus for me doing this because I'm so nice to you. There you Look, go. Look, baby, you can take home all you want. Okay, baby. Uh -huh. okay. I think I, I just leave it enough for me, okay? Uh, okay, I'll leave enough for you. That is good. It's delicious, right? Mm -hmm. It's so super simple. Mm -hmm. And it's very rich tasting. Mm -hmm. And once it cooks longer, mm -hmm. it even is better, uh -huh. for sure. Because it has, a, you know, all the flavors need to marry. They need uh, to get married. Very good. So if you want this recipe, it's, it's free. yours for free. Uh, if you have an email, that is the best way. And that information will come up on your screen. But also, um, if you don't have that, just write to us. We'll be glad to get it out to you and that information is coming up on your screen and then we're going to see some pictures of Linda's school you are going to be impressed so get ready to smile because you will if you would like a copy of today's recipe just write to the address on your screen or you can email your request to artheline at rippy.org
Tony, Mama Linda. Good morning, Isaiah. Good morning, Mama Linda. Isaiah, can you say John 3.16? My name is... My name is Sam Aniyo. John 3.16, it is a... For God so loved him that he gave his own son. And whoever believes in it shall not be a man Isaiah, that was Sadaioli. Good job. Oh, I will get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I know. Uh, she was back in the control room. We had to kind of pull her in here to do the show. I had to see my family. Seeing everybody. How many years did you work here? Oh, my goodness. I don't teach math at school. That's a good thing. It's 20-something. I started here, Dan, scream out a year. I came right before Dan did, if I can't remember. So I, I want to say it was 89, 1989. So long time. 
Oh, indeed, <laughs> and uh, and you did a lot of things. But as I was talking to Stephanie, I always felt there was something about you that there was this longing, this something uh, for something. Yeah, different. well, television was always <clears throat> what I knew. I started going to TV stations when I was two years old, and and yeah. doing ministry in television with my family. I started working in television mm -hmm. when I was fifteen, so it was what I knew, what I loved to do. Mm -hmm. But also being from a family of ministers and missionaries, I knew the calling was more. So. And this is what's interesting is the way the Lord, uh -huh. um, in the television ministry, you met. Yeah, Dr. Tanya. Dr. Tanya. Dr. Tanya Hawthorne, right. Um, and she had been in missions for Yeah, home. Dr. Tanya, well, this year we're celebrating our 20th year as New Frontiers organization. Mm -hmm. um, she started coming, you ready, back with you in Solo Act, mm -hmm. when we used to do Solo Act. And I met her there. I was a floor director there. And then we started doing the other shows here. And I would do, you don't know, I took my vacations and did mission trips. And mm -hmm. so sometimes we're on shows together, but I'd always play, Dr. Tanya, I'm going to come with you one day. And we're on a show, The Good Life, one time. And I just come back from Asia. She was just back from some amazing war zone where things happen oh. that she can't talk about or something. Yeah. And I said, I'll go with you. And I guess I said it one too many times. And she you said, said okay. <laughs> meet me for lunch Friday. And I went, and two months later, I was in Africa. And of course, she's on the medical yeah. field. And mm -hmm. family um, practice doctor. You did a few medical things that you never thought you would do. I do way more. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you actually, deliver babies or anything I like help. That? I assist. I don't actually catch. Uh -huh. But I am, I am there in the, the business. Yeah. I'm actually, I know, be impressed. I'm a CNA also. I went to uh -huh. school and did <laughs> Well... <laughs> What's it like to move from America? Oh my goodness! Well, you you didn't live in a palatial, but it no. wouldn't be there. No, no. And um, you're real fa happy to go over there, and no electricity, right? No, we have we we do now have solar, which is a good thing. Um, you know what? I think if God's called you some, to something, He's prepared you for it. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know I was prepared for that. I mean, family, we had farms and all that. So. It Similar, helped. yes, and driving trucks and stick shift through the... But you didn't have elephants and... We did not have elephants in our backyard. Mm -hmm. No, we did not, <laughs> and lions, but I think God prepared me some for my... Uh, he knew upon the foundation mm -hmm. what I would be doing. I just didn't know. Yeah. Um, but a legacy, I have a legacy of ministers and missionaries that now yeah. I am grateful for. When I was young, I'm like, oh, okay. When you look back and yeah. you start to connect the mm -hmm. dots, it... Yeah. Well at the top of the program talked about the fact that you really didn't have a path to Bible college. No. You didn't have a denomination, but you are I did. a reverend today. I am now an ordained minister an ordained with minister. the Church of God. Yeah. Wow. I know it. Isn't that amazing <laughs> how God takes care of the details? I would, if you would have told me that, Arthleen, uh -huh. I would have laughed at you. And I you still smile it, a little bit about it. You got it all his way <laughs> and not, not the mm -hmm. uh, normal way. All right. The little sign at the end of that video said, yeah. education is our legacy. Is our I legacy. am so believing in that. And let's get that website up because I want to be right up front with you folks. Uh, you have seen this video of these kids getting educated because of this girl. And I would like for us from Homekeepers to send a, a good offering to this school. Uh, if you've watched me very much, you know there's a couple things I'd love, and that's get saved and then get educated. <laughs> Amen. That's uh, <laughs> my goal as well. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, I believe that she is raising up people that can change a nation, change their country. Uh -huh. uh, where did you get the idea to start a school? You know, I as I became a missionary with New Frontiers and, and praying and asking God, you know, Television and photography has been my background, and I love it. It's, it's what I've done. Mm -hmm. But, Father, what is it for me? And education is an important part in my life because it wasn't always easy to me, and I had to struggle to get through it. But one day I saw a little girl who was, I'm guessing because they don't know the age per se, mm -hmm. but I guess she was about three years old, and she was crouched down with a baby tied to her back, starting a fire How to cook for about three years old, three or four years old. Um, she had a baby younger on than her back, herself. tied on her back, mm -hmm. and she was bent over, starting a fire no, to cook no hope, water. No opportunity. And none. And I and I so I asked the village, my friends in the village, about this little girl in depth. She was an orphan that a family member had taken in, and they were giving her a home, but she was becoming their housemaid. Um, and I just broke down. So, and in, in our society, polygamous society, they can have as many wives, and so the female still they still practice circumcision there and I just 
I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And I said, okay to God, because at that mm -hmm. point I knew what it was. So but now we money. have, now we have t about 27 girls, not just boys. So 50 all together, about 27 of them are girls that won't be circumcised. I'm getting excited. Praise Might tear. God. Aren't you getting this? Uh, they won't be <laughs> circumcised. I'm saying that again. Mm -hmm. They'll have an education, won't get taken advantage of in market and whatever they do. If they want to be a wife and a good mom, I am, that makes me happy. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to read and count. And they won't be married to an old man with eight, nine mm -hmm. wives at nine years old. Oh, so I got goosebumps <coughs> and almost crying. Thank you, Arthleen. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, we have their website up. You can go there to donate. Um, if you don't do that kind of thing, mm -hmm. send it to homekeepers and just say, I want it for Linda's school. And we'll make sure that we put it all together and send Linda a check. I, I hope this is reaching your heart because God has taken this girl and changing these lives. I, what in the world do you know about starting a school? Nothing. But I don't know about it. construction. Well, I do now. Rebarb, cement, how many bags of charcoal it takes to feed <laughs> you know kids. how to do that now. I, how many char charcoal it takes to feed the kids for a month. I know. <laughs> and they, they've all, they're all dressed alike, so I'm sure yeah. that comes from you. Yeah, it is. We, we provide their uniforms, two meals a day. Now, where do you get the teachers? Well, they are all Kenyan educated. So they're the top of what, because we're always in medical and education. But you education. have to pay them. We do. We pay their full salary. And, you know, why? So they're going to a good we're private not, right. school. And it's a big thing in Kenya or any How any do you nation. choose the children that get to come? Well, they choose. Well, it's a funny story. Well, there's an area. We live in one area. And we're about seven kilometers, about 10 minutes drive from where. And they would never have any education because they have to go to a a preschool, I'll call it a preschool, they call it baby school, till they can go to a higher education. Well, they, those mamas cannot send three, four, five, six-year-olds walking 10 minutes through the bush of Africa where there's lions and elephants and zebras and all of that, so they would have never gotten any education. So that community allotted and, and gifted New Frontiers with a piece of property, and I built a school. And it was only through God and friends and family that that and you have to have books, and you yeah, said they, they, they know three, are you teaching they them English? Their, they know their, their tribal language is Maasai, the national language is Swahili, and English. Because English is, is yeah. very important. Very important. And of course, they get Bible every day. Every morning, yes, first thing. Now, what is there um, beyond this? You, you're going to, mm -hmm. at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't take them on through well, high school, but... You're taking them to eighth grade, hopefully. I've promised, well, they don't know that I've promised that, but I, I'm going, I can't, I've invested in these children. I'm not going to say, congratulations, you made it through kindergarten. Yeah. Go see what you can do. No, they're some amazing, they're, they're testing higher than the other, other of private course they schools, are. other academies. They got the Lord in, in the there. nation. Yeah. Higher, higher, four-year-olds that are in the top of the class. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing amazing. I couldn't be prouder of my babies. Yeah, I, I can't stress how important I think, uh, Christian education is. Yeah. When if the Lord had given me a whole ton of money, mm -hmm. um, that's where most of it would go. Uh, we, I think we have a, t a little time. We might have to cut it short, but uh, some more of your pictures. Okay, we'll look and, at a few. Uh, sure. If you can uh, imagine, you know, living among the, what is that, a rhinoceros? Oh, that is a rhino. There are two rhinos left in the Maasai Mara. They're endangered, but these men are are Maasai, so I was able to speak their, some of their language to them, and they allowed well, me. Well, why are you up there petting them? Because I'm a brave one. Are they? Are, <laughs> no, they're now not friendly. Now, that's a fascinating animal. They, yeah, giraffes are beautiful. Do no, they live around you? They and, do. They do. Uh, uh, we, we follow them in the car on the way to school, and we take teams. Are those your boyfriends? <laughs> no, one of them's my nephew. One okay. of them's a cousin, so no. I mean, there's Belinda with no, some good-looking guys. That's actually a team from... Well, he's good looking because he's related to me from Bartow. Yeah, and that's this, another question. This is me in market, um, and I was telling the ladies in the market about God. Imagine that. They yeah, and uh, twice a week, so I get to. Yeah, and you've had some wonderful Americans come over there. Yeah, partner with yep. us. Yeah. Uh, but let me uh, let me tell you again, viewer. Um, I would l really like to be able to send this school. A check, and you know what I think, Linda. I think yes, ma'am. All these things, and when the Lord has put on my heart to do something, um, we're going to meet that in heaven. We are. We're going to meet your kids. You are in heaven, 
And uh, to give them an opportunity and how educate, especially Christian education, this nation, United States of America, started with Christian education. The kids learned to read the scriptures. That's how they learn how to read. And you can see how God blessed America and you can see what's happening to it now, that it's tur turned away from God. Here is a school that could absolutely change hundreds of thousands of lives. And you can give through that website that is on your screen right now, or you can write to Home Keepers, Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758, and uh, we'll forward every dime that you send to this ministry because there's never a time, there's no expense. I mean, <laughs> they they're grow always, out of their sweater. They do. And, I, I told Dr. Tanya, we're going to have to stop feeding them. They're getting too big and requiring more food <laughs> yeah. and bigger clothes and more books. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you have to pay the, I'm, yes. I'm really uh, thrilled with what God is doing. And when I begin to think of the expenses that you had. And we're not the people that come and think we, we're going to have national staff and work at a lower rate. We pay them the same as the government and give them actually a little bit more than what Exactly the what the Lord mm -hmm. would have you do. Yes, ma'am. And uh, I, I know I speak for everybody here at CT, and we're, we're so thankful, mm -hmm. so proud. Well, you're such a big part of it. Of what you're, you're doing. Thank you. And uh, it's my privilege to bring this kind of a ministry to you because I know these people. <laughs> I've known them for years. And, and to think that she had the guts, or call it faith, to, yeah, both. <laughs> to go over there. <laughs> there's nothing in your background to start a school that no, I know of. Not. Not a no. thing there, but uh, to gather these children together and you could see the joy of the Lord in there and uh, who knows, I don't know why it wouldn't grow to a high school one day because I, I could do that. Absolutely. You can do anything. So this is something that I've been anxious to bring to you for quite some time, but the girls in Kenya most of the time, mm -hmm. it's going to be here for a few days and I'm so thankful for that, but I really I really do not know of anything that you could sow financial gifts into uh, that will bring forth a better harvest way down the road, way past the time we're all in heaven. Uh, this effort is still going to be bringing people to the Lord Jesus Christ and changing the nation, changing the little town, changing the community. That's what the word of God will do. And it does it in America it will do it in Kenya, and it is being done. But we are out of time, so join me next time. Remembering, there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you should miss a homekeeper's program, you can catch up by going to www.ctnonline.com. Click on CTN Programs and then on Homekeepers.